Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love read. Sagittarius, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Sagis, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Sagittarius. Okay newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies etc. If this is your reading Sagittarius, you'll know which side you resonate best with right for me this is going to be person a this is going to be person b bottom of my deck the strength card well uh, are you guys holding back from each other by any chance sagittarius um i do sense somebody feels that this connection is breaking down or not doing well they feel their person is a heartbreaker promise breaker mm, the other person is also feeling things are stuck uh, things are always in conflict and fighting and things are moving backwards instead of moving forward so let's see what's going to happen i'm going to clarify these cards of course sagittarius but first let's start with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'm going to clarify these cards so sagittarius and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be sagittarius and their person sagittarius and their person spirit sagittarius and their person Sagittarius and that person's spirit. If they could say something, thank you. I'm going to take a few more Sagis from another deck. Sagittarius and that person. Sagittarius and that person's spirit. One more. Thank you. And let's take just a few more Sagis from a third deck as well. And then we can start the reading. Sagittarius and that person. All right. Good to go, Sagis. Let's start the reading. The first card here says, I have to juggle a lot of responsibility right now. I want to hold you and never let go. Let's get away together and disconnect from the world. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really don't want to have to. I wasn't ready for our connection. I realized that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? I have anger issues I'm working on. You're perfect for me. I have so much to say to you. Sometimes I wish I'd never even met you. I miss you so much that it feels like there's a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. I'm healing my heart from past hurt. Give me some time. Telling you that I need you will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do now. My heart belongs to you. Please don't move on. I think one person is saying, I'm done, there was nothing on offer here, my person turned out to be, you know, somebody non-committal or they broke my heart or <clears throat> they made promises they never kept, I'm moving on with a new soulmate. Uh, the other person is kind of stressing about that now. So let's see, I'm going to clarify these cards. <clears throat> <clears throat> let's start with an angel blessing card for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what my angels are going to bless you with today. As a blessing, guidance advice or just a message for Sagittarius and the card I have here for you is higher education maybe uh, this is a soulmate bond which had to come together to trigger both of you or teach you some lessons that you had to learn right so higher education normally comes when the spirit is trying to tell you that yes this was meant to be but meant to be for a reason meant to be to t trigger you onto a higher elevation or a 
you know better path or something or to it's a lesson basically so spirit tell me what's happening now in this connection have they learned their lessons can they come back together why is there so much so much frustrated energy even now that i sense i mean i do have the knight of swords in reverse right as somebody is very frustrated not being able to manifest uh, feeling the dealing with a trickster so let's see so personally let's start with your energy and newcomers please don't get confused okay these are just two soul energies in front of me this is not a man versus woman kind of a reading this could be anyone in your life could be a lover could be a spouse could be a relative could be a child parent anyone somebody that um, who you you'll know with but by the time i do the reading if this is your reading you'll figure out which side you're on sagis and which side your person is okay so person a let's start with you uh, in your feelings you feel there's a sick there's a four of wands in reverse what's the four of wands in reverse i think something made person a very upset and very angry maybe something that the other person said to them or uh, you know some some cold hearted communication that came from the other person's side made person a very upset and very angry and they kind of felt that uh, they deserve an apology or uh, they were expecting an apology but now they're very upset that uh, their person was uh, this just backfired basically or maybe they caught them doing something uh, in that con maybe in that communication something came out which probably made person a angry to say you know what I know the truth now. My person is just a heartbreaker, promise breaker. Um, here, I was uh, hoping that you know my wish had, my biggest wish had come true. They were going to be that uh, you know person in my life who was going to be the perfect you know individual who would take responsibility of this connection. I admired them. I respected them. I thought my wishes had come true. This is my soulmate, but they turned out to be. just a heartbreaker promise breaker so person a is kind of little upset with person b right now why 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 do you feel this way person a tell me five of pentacles in reverse what's the five of pentacles in reverse i think uh, person a is trying to get out of their disappointment of feeling abandoned of not having received mm, the offer maybe or the apology they're trying to get out of that now uh by not waiting around for the other person they feel that their person is uh, very you know they play they were playing mind games uh, it was all about them it was all about what made them feel good and it was never about the connection it was only one sided person a has come to the realization that they were probably dealing with some kind of a trickster who was never never ever Uh, intending to fulfill any promises or offer any kind of long term partnership or lot long term commitment and that's why person a is kind of with a broken heart i think he trying to heal themselves but they are trying to get out of the situation now i'm no longer going to be waiting around for this person somebody who i really really thought was going to be maybe person a trusted too quickly and they got hurt but they are trying to get out of that now So person A tell me how do you feel about the connection now how do you feel about person B and how do you feel about the connection Ace of cups what's the ace of cups person A is trying to give themselves self love i think they could be trying to work on themselves on their own money or meeting new people uh, they i think they feel they feel that they've been fooled I think they've been. They feel they've been fooled in love, and they could be focusing on self-love or just working towards building up their life or their business or their money right now. Feeling, um, you know, they got fooled trying to move on. Uh, but the lesson I think person A says I've learned is yes, I am moving forward. I am now trying to move away from. this disappointment but i've learned now whenever i do interact with others uh, i keep that lesson in my mind and i i'm a bit guarded now i've learned that you can't really trust anyone at face value and expect them to be the person that you want them to be uh, that just leads to a broken heart right I, i'm not never ever going to repeat that cycle again person a is kind of seen things from all different perspectives and they are now getting unstuck from the situation So hanged man in reverse 
hanged man in reverse yeah person a says what's the point of staying sticking around my person hasn't put in any work they haven't come with an apology uh, i know what there is to know some truths have been revealed to me i caught them in the act literally uh, maybe they said something and uh, person a says yes i've got my guard up now i'm protecting myself uh, i i feel that this is not this is not the one uh, this is over there was nothing on offer there is no, no nothing long term to look at now uh, this connection basically has backfired omkara taro and yes i think person a is coming to realize that uh, maybe they shouldn't have trusted somebody that easily or something um, that's their lesson i guess so what action person a will take finally i'll open later sajis let's go to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b the wheel of fortune in reverse you seem very stuck yeah see person b person b is feeling very stuck they feel nothing is moving maybe they were waiting for a message or something from person a they still have a lot of passion for person a they want to talk they want to message they want they want to take action because they know that person a is the one who can make all their dreams and wishes come true but at this moment they feel nothing is moving in fact things are going backwards um, things are still in troubled waters between the two of you and they're getting very frustrated then this was the card which i spoke about when i started the reading i think person b is the one who's very very frustrated right now maybe remembering um some fight you guys had maybe some words were exchanged uh, there's something that's really made person b feel very scattered at the stagnancy which has happened in this connection i think they still they still uh, have passion and they still uh, feel that they want to talk um, but there's some way they're feeling that i've been dropped now i've been dropped but okay so person b tell me why do you feel this way person b says that uh, yeah i took my person for granted i know that but uh, now they have pulled away their love from me they are not no they've passed judgment on me they are very, they've uh, they I, i don't think they'll ever give me a second chance um, they have put a lid on that cup of love that they used to give so freely to me at one point now i feel i'm not going to get another another chance and um, Uh, yeah but person b feels that uh, person a has moved away from them because maybe they they were not in a position to offer commitment or uh, the decision has been made to by person a because maybe person b couldn't make up their mind or offer commitment yeah they they feel that person a has stopped waiting around for them and gone on their own path person b is recognizing that they 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 took that person for granted they also recognize that maybe they took too long or they took too long to make up their mind and by now person a could have you know stopped waiting for them person b is realizing that uh, it was unwise of them or they made some unwise decision maybe at that time but that doesn't go that doesn't go to say they still don't have passion person b still has a lot of passion for person a but uh, and they do want to make things right <clears throat> they do they they do want to have a passionate brand new beginning with person a so person b tell me how do you see the connection now how do you see person a and how do you see the connection person b says i don't want to have any more sleepless nights i don't want to have any stress but uh, i'm feeling rather insecure because i feel my person has detached from me they don't want that the same commit i mean same thing as i do now earlier maybe they were not ready for commitment now they feel person a doesn't want commitment with them uh, they they feel that person a has gone totally silent on them they've gone totally silent they've gone quiet and maybe they are they're very single and independent and you know following their own passions and they are no longer concerned with them anymore and um, that's kind of making them feel very bad and very disappointed feeling they had a missed opportunity uh, feeling things are very stagnant in their life feeling i may not be able to manifest this back because uh, they feel that the other person has totally made up their mind to cut them out of their life and is angry will never trust them again and is happy being single and you know no longer stressed about them okay so let's see what actions you guys will take maybe the strength card which was the overall energy 
is person A who's taken their power back and that's exactly how person B is seeing them. Very strong and pull back their power. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take now. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Sagis. And uh, may I request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, reach many more people and makes me feel happy. So thank you for doing that. And newcomers, repeating viewers, do subscribe, share, like the Omkara family. We welcome you in. All right, so person A, let's start with you action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Uh, eight of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords? How is that an action? Eight of Swords. Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Ten of Swords. Yeah, person A feels that uh, this connection gave them too much stress. There was too much stress, there was too much overthinking, feeling trapped in their mind, there was uh, no clarity, they felt that they were bl blindfolded. Uh, I think person A was expecting a four of wands, but uh, I think they, they were stressed because no decision was made or they, they, they feel that person was not making a choice or not deciding on you know having a full-fledged commitment or something I think person A is kind of walking away and saying hey you know what I can't take the stress anymore I'm ending this I've been stabbed in the back okay so person B what about you action from your end towards person A or otherwise A so wants well like I said, person B still has a lot of passion for person A. So, how is that in action, person B? How is that in action? Three of Wands, Page of Cups, Nine of Swords. Both of you have the Nine of Swords and the Heartbreak card as well. I think... Uh, I think they are realizing that person A has turned their back on them and they are now sitting in heartbreak and pain. They know they need to come and apologize. They know they need to come and apologize. They are, sorry, I showed you the wrong card. Uh, I think they are seeing person A as very happy and uh, they know that person A is the one that can make, make, them, make them very happy. Or they could be seeing person A very happy in their own life and turn their back. They know, this person knows they need to come and apologize. For something that they did but uh, they are also having a lot of sleepless nights and stress and tension I think this person is recognizing that they did something terrible to a person who was so full of light and happiness they broke that person's heart and now they are sitting in a broken heart as well because uh, they don't know whether they'll be forgiven this person is going through it now they are looking into their future and it looks empty right so this is a learning experience i guess spirit what's the strength card why was this the overall energy why was this the overall energy for uh, sagittarius today clarify the strength card for me please justice six of wands and the ace of pentacles this is person a i think uh, because They've uh, pulled back and I think are trying to do right for themselves. They, this person, because of their own sheer will and strength, uh, is moving towards a lot of uh, victory in their own life. Yes, they are, they are focusing on stability and a brand new beginning and they're going to be very successful. I can see that. Um, I think this is person A who's learned their lesson really well and taken their power back and the universe is going to be gifting them with something very stable a lot of victory and a stable brand new beginning i don't know about person b how, how is this for person b why is the strength card here what does this mean for person b spirit knight of swords page of swords and the sun yeah as much as this person wants to come towards person a they need the courage to come to, to do that spirit says they are still kind of a bit immature i guess right they do things before they think of the consequences this person is right now stuck in just spying on person a they, they could be seeing person a happy they could be seeing them shining and right now they need the courage 
to actually take that bold step to come towards person A. Uh, till they don't find their strength, this person will be stuck watching the other person in all their glory. So that's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste, Saji.